Welcome to Painting with Colonel. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Finally, the long wait is over, and I'll show you now how to weather a Necron this time in English. <laughs> so let's get started. As this is quite a long time since I made this video. I won't follow um, the original German version step by step. Note that I have already painted the blade and I've sealed it with a matte varnish so that we won't damage the paint job when we scratch away. Now it's time for a good portion of hairspray. I go over the miniature various times to get good coverage here so we can remove the following layers of paint better. We only want as much as it needs to cover the miniature, we do not want it to build up droplets or something like that. Note that here's the first point, you can fuck this up really hard. <laughs> I usually leave the miniature for about an hour to dry, but this depends on temperature, the amount of hairspray you use and the type of hairspray, of course. I make sure that everything is dry before I proceed with um, airbrushing and we will do a two color, two steps layering with the airbrush now. I chose a dark brown for the undertone and I'm going from below so that I build up a dark brown shadow that uh, will cover all the parts that will not gain much light. Do not try to use rattle can for this weathering effect because it won't work as the thickness of the layer you'll produce is too thick, obviously. Now this is one of the first times I use the airbrush, it's also a rather cheap one, so uh, it doesn't hurt to try out new stuff. There are weathering techniques, however, that work without an airbrush. Again, leave the miniature to dry for a while, as we do not want to wet blend our layers. We want two separate layers for this weathering effect. Don't rush it. So for the second layer of this technique, we use Nurgling Green. Um, this green is slightly brighter than the tone that I want to have in the end, as we will go over the whole miniature with washes. Not in this tutorial, though. I also try now to spray from a bit further away of the miniature, so the paint already dries on the air and I do not get an overly wet layer on the miniature because this would um, soak up into the brown and have the result that the two colors would mix and we do not want that. After that first layer is dry, however, we can get a little bit closer and work out the higher spots or the those spots that will get the most of the light and we thus build up a nice transition. Now here comes the point where the magic happens. Make sure that you have hot water and that you use an old brush with uh, rather hard stipples. No, not stipples. Um, <laughs> hairs? Brushes, bristles, bristles, it's bristles. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As you can see, um, you have to wet the surface in the area where you want to scratch away the paint and it will take a few seconds um, that the hairspray beneath the layers of paint soaks up the water and starts dissolving and you then can lift the layers of paint up with either a 
brush here or you can use harder tools like a toothpick or an exacto knife also note that the more water you use and the wetter it is uh, the bigger the chunks of paint that you lift off will be so rather be careful as you can go back and re-dampen the area and add scratches at will it is way easier here to get the layers off the miniature than getting them on again <laughs> let's speed up things from here so we can get to an end with this tutorial note that you can use every color you want of course starting with the darker one and going up to lighter tones and if you want to have multi-layered weathering you would have to save the first layer with varnish then apply hairspray and apply the next coats of paint with airbrush again hopefully this tutorial was helpful to you thanks for watching Stay tuned and most of all, be excellent to each other. And in the next episode, you will see. And there's no next episode planned so far. Oh.